understand. I want to take my time and explain what we've done so far. Um, I don't know. I just feel like going through what we've done. So um, I think we are done with the user, the user model. So when we come to the user model, if you are following from the video, but bear in mind, this is not a level or beginner's course, okay? So I'm trying to rush things out a bit. So we, we are done with the user model. We have the protected fillables here. That's the name, email, password, the number and the user type. And we have the, the variables for admin user, regular user. That is storing the values of admin and editor. And then we have the, these are the default protected hidden stuff. That is a password, remember token. And then the cast, that is verify that. And then the date. Okay, the verify that is the date and time um, data type. Okay, so this for the user. And then when we go to the post model, so bear in mind the models are here. When you open your app folder, these are the models. Okay, you can put them in a folder called models if, if, if that's what you want. But you just have to. Um, if you are referencing them in another folder, you have to just use a model like the folder structure to find them. So we have the post model also, which has a protected cast of share. Share is a is a is a boolean. All right, so it's there. And then we have the other fillables, as title, subcontent, the content, the user ID, the category, views, share, and then the image. So that's for the post. So if you go to our migration, that's our tables. We are going to get the users table here, which is storing all the all the stuff we need. You know, we need to use for all the stuff we need on our, on our users table. So these are this. Um, so. Um, I'm just hoping that we are all on the same page here. Yeah. Then we go to the post. We also have our ID increment, and then our user IDs here, and our views, and our share, and our image, and everything. So for now, just for the password research, we don't have to touch that. It comes default with Lavo. So we are done with um, the post. We are done with creating the models for the post. So the next thing is we go in for. Um, um maybe we should do the categories yeah we should do the category right so we can open our terminal and then we can do php artisan make model the name of your model category plus a migration you get it right so we have a category here and we go to a migration we have the categories migration right so we can now just copy what we have in our previous projects and then we just paste it and, and yeah so we have the normal primary key that's an increment id we have the name of the category and then the description of the category and then the timestamp. So the timestamp is going to store the created that value and then updated that value. All right. So we have the timestamp here. And then the description is limited to thousand words because it is just the categories. All right. So this is for the category. So we are going to create a protected fillables for the categories. So we can just go to one of the models and copy the protected fillables. And then we paste it. And then we just um, so we only need the name and then the description, all right? So we only need name and then description, and then we can save it. And we come here and then we save it. So we are done with the category model. So we can now push our changes. So you can create a remote repository and then put your code there. For now, I have not created mine yet. So we can say category model. Oh, wrong spelling, right? So that doesn't work. So that's all for the category model. So in the next video, we're going to look at the um, comments.
you can look at creating a comment model and then that will be it so i'll catch you on the next video